Hi, good day students. This is once again your teacher, Mr. Halbuena, bringing you the fourth episode of our virtual music classroom here on YouTube. Thank you for subscribing and following our lessons from your homes. Come, let's make our own kind of music. I hope you guys continue to wash your hands thoroughly and more often. Keep practicing social distancing and all the preventative measures. Let's not forget to check curfews, closures, and lockdown advisories in our respective communities so we remain to be safe. I also hope that you guys are on top of your game, keeping track of all your virtual assignments from your regular classroom teachers, working hard, and being responsible for your own learning. Lastly, I hope that you are not forgetting your PAX promises and you continue to be kind and respectful, just like a PAX leader. Now without much further ado, let's get into our lesson. Today, we are going to explore and discover the mechanism of wind instruments. There are two kinds of wind instruments, the brass wind and the woodwind. Woodwind instruments are mostly made out of wood. It usually has a lot of buttons and holes to press or cover and has a straight cylindrical design. The longest woodwind instrument would probably be about five feet. On the other hand, all brass winds are made out of brass. It usually has a swirly design. This is because the tube is actually very long, but they twist it around a couple of times to make it more compact and you can hold it just like within your arm reach. It usually has three or maybe no buttons at all. The longest brass wind instrument is probably the length of a school bus when it's stretched out. Today, we are going to improvise a wind instrument. I hope you are excited. Before we create and improvise, let's have an instrument example so that we can be inspired in creating our own instrument. Here, I have a wind instrument very common in Asia. This particular instrument I have is from a country called Thailand, and they call this instrument wood. In Asia, they tend to be very onomatopoeic in giving names to everything. That means you call something depending on the sound that they make. They call this wat probably because that is the sound that it creates. It is tuned in a pentatonic manner that means continuing five different tones. This has a very simple design and it is very similar to many pan flutes around the world. Let me play it for you. Okay, I'm gonna play a tune. I'm gonna try to play a tune that you may know. Can you guess the tune? How can you describe the sound compared to other wind instruments? Comment your answers down below. I think that this instrument generally produces a higher sound compared to other wind instruments because it is not very long and the air that you blow on it doesn't have so much space to travel. In wind instruments, I think that the smaller or the shorter they are, the higher the sound it makes, which proves to us that brass wind instruments because they tend to be longer remember they're they're just twisted around a couple of times but brass winds are longer and therefore they actually produce a lower sound now let's start our experiment here are the things that you'll need five small bottles that are the same so it doesn't matter whether it's plastic or glass a pitcher of water a measuring cup and a funnel if you have one while you find these items, you can pause the video and press play again when you're ready. First, let's try the sound that we can make with a bottle. So our plan is to use the bottle as a pipe and we blow it like this. Now let's observe what happens to the sound if we add water into the bottles. Okay, so let's start slowly adding water into the bottle. Okay, so I'm using a measuring cup. Let's try to add maybe just this much water. Now let's listen to the sound that it makes. Hmm, what happened to the sound? Comment your answers down below. Now let's try adding a little bit more water into it. Maybe about that much. And let's listen. Hmm, 
promising. What happens to the sound? Comment your answers below. And lastly, I'm going to add some more water. What happened to the sound? Now that we know that the water alters the space for the air to resonate, we can have all five bottles having different levels of water to produce different sounds. How is this different from all the other mechanisms that we have learned previously? I know that with the glass percussion, the more water we add, the lower the sound it makes. But this time, it's the, the more water you add, the higher the sound it makes. So, how is it different? If you have thoughts, comment your answers down below. So this time, our goal is to arrange the bottles from low to high sound order. How are we going to do that? The so higher the level of water is, the higher the sound. The first bottle, maybe we should just leave it empty to keep the sound low. And the second bottle, what should we do? Should we add water? Yes, that's right. We should add a little bit of water to make the sound higher. Remember, more water, the higher the sound. To make it more precise, we can use a measuring cup so we can make sure that there's enough water being added each time. And so the sound goes gradually higher. Now the third bottle, what are we going to do? We need to have an even higher sound. Yes, that's right. We're going to add a little bit more water into it. Now this time, what are we going to do with the fourth bottle? Yes, that's right. We're going to add a little bit more water, even more so than what we did for these two. And for this fifth bottle, what are we going to do? Add more water, correct. Great, so now we have all our bottles containing different levels of water and this first one is empty. And if what we think is right, then we should be able to hear a low to high sound order from these bottles. Are you ready to test out our experiment? Let's see if we are able to arrange it from low to high sound order. So, <laughs> Now you can enjoy playing your wind instruments and improvise some patterns. Great! And that's your improvised wind instrument. Now what should we name this instrument? If you have any bright ideas, comment your answers down below. What should we name this? If you would like to share the musical activities that you do from home, you can just take a video from your phone and send it to my email, which is rkchalbuena at gmail.com. That's rkcjalbuena at gmail.com. Thank you once again for subscribing and following our lesson for today. Stay safe and healthy. Bye.